Now that new report about Prince and what was in his system when he passed away. ABC's Eva Pilgrim is here with those details. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, Robin. Prince's secret now exposed. It was well known that the Purple Rain star had pain issues from years of performing, but not many knew how he was dealing with that pain. A newly released report showing just what was in his body when he died. Experts calling the findings a pretty clear smoking gun. This morning, a new toxicology report revealing Prince had exceedingly high fentanyl levels in his body when he died. According to the report obtained by the Associated Press, the level of fentanyl in Prince's liver was more than six times higher than what's typical of an overdose, higher than 69 micrograms per kilogram. The amount found in Prince's autopsy, 450 micrograms per kilogram. Fentanyl is 50 to 100 times stronger than morphine, 30 to 50 times more potent than heroin. Even small amounts, equivalent to a few grains of salt, can be lethal. That's Hazley Park, 7801 Audubon Road, person down not breathing. The Purple Rain Star was 57 when he was found alone and unresponsive in an elevator at his Paisley Park estate on April 21, 2016. <laughs> A year later, unsealed search warrants revealing investigators found a sizable amount of narcotic medications inside Paisley Park. The pills stored not in prescription bottles, but hidden in vitamin, aspirin, and other over-the-counter pain relief bottles all over the estate, including the singer's dressing room, the mirror room, and the purple rain room. None of the prescriptions in Prince's name. Now, the prosecutor in Minnesota saying this case isn't over yet. He is planning to make a decision on whether to charge anyone in the near future. It's been almost two years. Yeah, it has been. Thank you, Eva.